Hello, my name is Ben. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about the EcoFlow River 2 power station that I purchased about four months ago. I've been gradually getting uh, used to its features and learning how to use it in my camper. And today this is going to be a short little video about how to maximize the efficiency of the River 2 since it is such a small uh, power station. Um, I'll be showing you a couple of tricks that I learned the last month or so uh, with different um, power efficient devices uh, to utilize in your camper setup. Um, since I have such a small small truck camper, um, it's just a camper shell, uh, a couple of windows, uh, insulated on the inside, as you can see. Um, and uh, it's a small space, but it needs a little bit of light and uh, a cooler and a way to heat. And that's what I'm going to be talking about today. So this is my EcoFlow River 2. Uh, the way I've set it up inside my camper. I have a 12 volt outlet there, which connects to a multi-pronged setup. I have an additional connection back here, which goes to my lights. And my lights are LED strips right there, and there's one behind me as well. And then currently I am using a heater mat, which I found at a local thrift store. And the seedling heat mat only draws 16 watts. Now I have a 100 watt solar panel on my roof and I am partially parked in shade and it is a partly cloudy day as well so I'm not getting nearly as much solar as I should be. Um, if I parked in a different location I'd probably get 55 to 60 watts right now. But my input is 13, it's fluctuating between 12 and 16 watts. Um, but my output is still with my lights and my heater mat going only 16 watts, which is pretty darn efficient. And according to the EcoFlow River 2, I can run this current setup for 10 hours. And that's pretty dang good. The power efficiency of the EcoFlow is pretty good on recharge time. I'm very happy with that. Um, there are a few things that I would recommend to EcoFlow the next time they build a device like this. Uh, since it does have a flat top, a wireless charging station built into the top would be very good for most people that have um, those features built into their smartphones. Um, I don't have anything else like a large refrigerator. I do have a 12 volt thermoelectric cooler that I picked up at a thrift store as well. Um, it's got a fairly decent capacity. Um, I am not running that currently. It draws roughly 50 watts. So that's going to be the end of uh, this video for today. I'll be making another video later when I expand the capacity of the truck batteries and run a power line back here to the camper that I can plug the EcoFlow directly into as well as use the solar. And that will expand its capabilities greatly. And I will do another video, hopefully within the next uh, couple of weeks after I've done that.